Hey, it's Linda. Um, I want to show you, some of you have been asking me about the baby lock machines and some of the other machines that are not the universal machines, kind of standard. So we're going to take a look at a baby lock. This is baby lock destiny. So we're going to come zoom in. We got a baby lock destiny. It comes with this on here. This is a high shank that comes with the machine. Those of you that know universal machines, Janome, New Home, Elena, Baby Lock Brother, New White, New Camera, New Singer, New Jukies, those are all standard universals. But these guys, the more expensive machines, they work a little bit differently. I'm going to unscrew this. Once I take that off, the ankle that's a high shank machine, or a high shank ankle that comes with this machine, we're going to place this on. Now that goes in, I don't know how well you can see, but that's going to go in to the little, there's a little piece here, and I want to get that lined up so I can bring that in, and then we're going to take off. Let's do that first so y'all can see. We're going to take this off. This is a high shank ankle. You can buy these if you've got an older machine that you want to have this. I've got two short shanks. These guys here, these are ones that I own and sell. These are short shanks. If you have a featherweight, those are great for those. Some of the short shank machines, um, they're perfect for that as well. So I want to get this lined up and I'm not seeing real well where I am, but hopefully this will be on there. Once I have this on here, then I'm going to be able to snap on the Martelli Stitch in the Ditch seam guide foot. This is a seam guide foot. Now I want to talk about the seam guide foot for a minute. Those of you that have had the foot for a little while, you may have a foot with this wider bar. I want to show you here. We have two widths of bars. It's really based on your machine. Some machines, this part of the foot here from the side, you can see here that snaps on to a fatter bar better than a narrower bar. So if you've got a machine that our foot doesn't fit on well, you can call us and say, hey, I need the narrower bar or I need the fatter bar. And you'll see that should snap right on. This guy should, want to have that lined up, be able to snap on there. I'm going to place it down and then show you. See how that snaps on? That snaps on here. It doesn't snap on as well. It's on there, but I didn't hear it and feel it click. I'm going to place this on here. And you can hear it click. I can feel it click on there. So this sits on there. So what we're going to do is take our foot and line that up and then lower the presser foot. Now I know on this machine I lower the presser foot a little bit differently and I'm not sure so I'm going to bring this up. I don't know if you guys saw what I did was instead of lowering the presser foot because I don't know this machine. I just brought it up. I'm going to un hit that button and then just push it right up. Now I also want you to notice the needle. The needle should be sitting in line with this bar underneath that bottom part of the foot this right here that's where your needle should be you can see this needle position doesn't line up what that means is if you were to stitch in the ditch you wouldn't be stitching in the ditch you'd be stitching along the edge of the ditch I don't have any fabric to show you but you're going to be stitching showing your needle and those stitches and when you turn it over you're going to be, be missing the binding on the back I talk about this in some of my other videos but this is a great example to know that we need to move the needle so that it lines up right here what I like to do I'm going to take this machine is from Meisner by the way I'm in California this week and this is their business card they've let us film the video here but when I bring this down and again I'm not even sure how to bring this down maybe that there we go all right when I bring this down I can bring that needle down and you can see that needle doesn't line up so what I would want to do is move my needle over bring it up move it over 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 bring it down and look to see why do I have the business card underneath sometimes it's easier to see that bar this part of the underside of the foot with something underneath it so we want to line that needle up but basically what you're going to be doing on some of these higher end machines is taking off the ankle that they have this fancy guy here this does all kinds of great things but we want to take that off and put on the ankle that should come with your machine this came with the machine here this part I'm going to unscrew that this came with the machine now if you don't have this with your machine whatever brand you have if it doesn't come with it you can always contact to me and I can find it for you on the internet they do sell these pieces individually but just so you know Martelli makes them these guys here this is an ankle that comes with the seam guide foot this is our ankle number one it looks like we have a one two three four five six one is a short shank the six is a super high shank I talk about those in my videos but it's based on your older machines old singers old featherweights the older machines they're short shank a high shank a slant shank a super high shank um, so these guys here come with the Martelli stitch in the ditch foot the seam guide foot and the curve master foot too so you can get these and they'll work just fine but this is in metal 
This that I have in my hand is a Bernina adapter. Bernina, the old style, this that's curved here, Bernina also makes one like this. If you've seen my Bernina videos, believe it or not, these two are the same. This is round, this is square, but those two do the same thing. But out of these two, which one is gonna last longer, metal and acrylic or metal? I always say the metal is gonna hold up, last longer. But this, if you have the short shank ankle from Bernina, you can put this on here. And this is also another Bernina adapter. Those of you that haven't seen my videos, I'll just go through this real fast. This is straight and this has a notch in it. They're the same from the side, exactly the same thing if I could get my fat fingers out of the way. But you can see on the top, it's different. This is a new style, this is an old style. New styles tend to be the 800s, the 700s, the 400s, the 180s, the 200s. The old styles tend to be four digit numbers. A 1090, a 1230, those kinds of machines. The old 830s. But all of this deals with ankles, that deals with the shanks, all of this that's attaching the foot. So hopefully that's giving you some information. Um, if you have questions, put them here. You can send me an email. However you need that information, I'll get back to you and hopefully that's gonna fill in some of the details. This is a baby lock, but that's also the same for Janome's and the other sewing machines, the higher brand machines, the more expensive machines. They're gonna have this technology on it and this is how you can put a curve master foot on the stitch and the ditch seam guide foot on your machine. Thanks for watching and thanks Steve for filming me, appreciate it.